Guys, we back. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be setting up the MIDI controller that I have over here. We're gonna set it up to work with Reason. Make we're gonna be making beats on Reason. So here's what we do. I'm checking it right now. I'm not getting anything. So I know I got power to the controller, but I'm not getting anything. This is a brand new install of Reason. So. And a brand new install of the controller on this machine. So what we're gonna do? Let's go to preferences. We're gonna go to preferences. Okay. Did I do it? Hold on. All right. So we're going to preferences. So we need to get this working. Keyboards and control surfaces. Um. I haven't did this in a while, but this is what I used to do. I used to do auto detect. If you do auto detect, it'll it'll uh, depending on what type of keyboards or MIDI controllers you got on your machine, it'll find them. Okay, so we didn't find that. So this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to add it. We know that that's a M Audio controller that I got. MIDI input. Okay, right there is where you see it. MIDI input is showing you that you can see the USB key station, which is what I have, I believe. USB key station. Anyway. All right, so that's showing you that it's seeing my USB plugged in. That's the one I want. So this is the whole key to this. We don't really worry about too much other, or, you know, some other things in there, I don't mess with that. Come up out of there, that's how it looks, preferences. Basically, to save that in, you just basically exit it. But what I want to do, I want to test it and see what if I got it. All right, so I got, I got it coming. I got notes coming from the uh, keyboard, so that's cool. I can come out of there. But another thing, what I want to do, if you notice, is is latency on there. So we're gonna change that. This is just some secret stuff for y'all. This how. This is how we get our beats to, to snap. You wanna go into uh, audio and you wanna mess with this latency on here. And what this does is uh, it controls the amount of data that the computer is processing at any at any given moment while you, while you put it in your notes. So um, depending on the size of your hard drive or your memory, you may have to adjust this to get the better effect. <laughs> So I just use the, this is a new machine, so I, I haven't had time to, to optimize it. But you'll run across this problem, especially if you're not running a really big, fast machine. I got, it, I got it close, and that's at 56, 32 samples. That's pretty close. I can do something with that. Still lost, so I need to go up. I need to try to get it on point. play with this so what I'm gonna do I think that's pretty good because usually you could tell when you're using like drum sounds I could tell even better when I'm using drum sounds so I'll switch to a drum sound I got a track with my drum sound in there you know I'm not gonna show y'all my secret my secret waves that I use for my drums but I'm gonna show y'all ways so y'all can do your own but anyway it's cool it's almost on point but I need to get it a little bit more I need to lose a little bit more of that latency and normally it would take me a little bit more time to get it like they have it uh, output latency they have uh, external sync offset so these are all the things that you'll be doing to try to tweak it to your system like I got it close but I was here. I was here for a long time to get it 
to get it to work for me the way it needs to. I think I'm forgetting it because I used to have a, a, another trick for it, but uh, a quicker way. So it's a way that you find it, you have to just jump around, experiment with the samples, it depends on your memory on your machine. That's pretty close. So what I'll do is, I know that that's the closest, and I'll go in here and mess with these smaller values. Let's see what that'll do for me. And it may give me a little closer. But this is what you'll do. You'll spend you'll spend a few a few minutes doing this, trying it on, on the keyboard till you get get it to uh, hit exactly the sound to hit exactly when you hit the keyboard. It's close, but I'm just so what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try another. Uh, output system so this is the things that you do try another sound driver which will give me another set of settings which I probably can get a better output from it so this is what you do this is what I'm showing y'all today this is what we do to make sure our stuff is on point there we go so I switched what I did I switched sound driver in reason and now I'm tweaking it I got it I got it almost perfect all right, so yeah, now I'm in there, so I can just mess around with that, and now I can go ham. Yeah, so that's on point. So we're gonna roll with that. So that's how you do it. So optimal settings for y'all, clever kism. Then y'all know y'all can use y'all reason. This how I, this how I do it. Make sure your MIDI controller is hitting on point. This is what I'm doing for my machine. Yours might be a little different. I'm using my DX primary sound driver, simple. My buffer size is at 2432 samples. My input latency is one millisecond. My output is 55 milliseconds. My external sync offset is 125 milliseconds, all right? That's what I got. So you'll get, you'll be playing around with yours till you get it right. All right, so, that's, so now we got, we got action. We got MIDI controller working. We good. So next time we'll uh, we're gonna jump in the beat and we'll we'll start dropping something in this beat on reason on on this new install of reason. We'll be right back. <laughs> 